One might wonder what is the relevance of the mitzvahs of maisa, tithing one's produce or food that grows in their land, have to us when most of us don't own land in Israel that's producing crop or fruit. So there is a Jewish law accepted by many of the sages as a law going back as early as the Midrash that one is actually supposed to give maisa, to give, to tithe all of their earnings and income. What they make, the money that we make from working and any gifts that we receive or inheritance, that this that ten percent of this should be given to charity, to Sadaka. Now, as we mentioned, there are a number of different tithes. There's the one when when it comes to produce or food. There is the one to the Kohens, and there is the one to the Levites, then there is the one that's given to the poor people, sometimes brought to Jerusalem, where the odor eats from the fruit in, Jer- in Jerusalem, which we're going to talk about more. So it actually ends up being that after one does all the tithes from the from the crop of, of fruit, and they've taken about 20%, and they, they, what remains is about 80%. So just like when it comes with um, produce and fruit, the sages have said that it is praiseworthy to give more than 10% to charity, to give up to a 20% from char- to charity, this brings blessing in one's life, as Hashem says clearly to the Jewish people in the Torah, test me with this mitzvah. If you give charity, if you give extra beyond what you're obligated to give, I will give you back many times more. Thank you for watching.